welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking so we are in the busiest town here in Switzerland. it's called Manzini so I'm so happy to be here since we came it's been cold but today the sun is out people are walking people are moving around I'm so excited so this is the $10 challenge if you like this kind of videos guys let me hear some <laughs> let me hear some noise anyway seriously guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up give a comment let me know what you think and subscribe if you haven't already so guys um ten dollar is an equivalent of 150 swaziland emalangeni that is how they call their money here emalangeni very interesting and this currency is actually one of the strongest currencies in africa it goes hand in hand with the south african brand yes guys in case you didn't know it south africa and swaziland or should i say the eswatini actually use the same money you can use south african money here in eswatini that's so interesting did you guys know that let me call someone random to help me explain this better we need someone from eswatini hey hi how are you hi how are you doing i'm good i'm good things hi <laughs> <laughs> so you're from swaziland yeah i am um, what is the name of your money again? I want you to teach us how to pronounce it. Okay, um, if, it if it's plural, call it Malangen. Yeah, Malangen. Yeah, but if it's just one, then it's Lilangen. Oh, Lilangen when it's one, plural, uh, Malangen. Yeah. Okay, so is it true that you share the same currency with South Africa? Yeah, we do. We do. Really? Yeah, uh, we, we use the South African currency for our like daily shopping. But you cannot use the Lilangen in South Africa. But that's so unfair. He just said that they use the South African currency here. <laughs> Uh -huh. um, but South Africans don't choose their currency. Like, do you think that's fair? Kind of, because um, their economy is much higher than ours. Okay. It's much bigger, so we are the ones actually relying on their currency. Oh, that's. So if the rent goes down, we also. Okay, guys, what do you think about what he said? Leave a comment below and let us know. So I am so excited to move around. I'm gonna show you interesting things. We're gonna cover. We're gonna try and cover transportation. We're gonna talk about food, souvenirs, shopping, all those good things in this video. Yeah, so let's go spend this money. Are you ready? No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, so we are at the Boo Mall. The no. Boo Mall. <laughs> Why is this called? Is this? It's called Boo Noom. This mall is called Bonu. Bonu Mall. Why is it called Bonu Mall? Uh, it's named after a, a former king. Oh. Like so if anyone tells you they are the Boo Mall, this is where they are. <laughs> Definitely. In Manzini. The yeah. half of Sozala. Uh, uh, ooh, okay. Yeah, it's actually the half. Like, we are coming at the center. Oh yeah guys, we are standing at the center of Switzerland. This is so exciting. And we are at the Boo Mall. So this is a perfect place to come with your Boo, right? Yeah. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> I'm so shocked that in this country they actually have the telephones behind us. Where people actually go and make calls. Like, yeah. This is We used to have this in my country when I was really, really young. Then they got rid of them. So I came here and I saw them. And I'm so excited to try them out. Um, wait, insert coin? Okay, please insert your coin. Okay, then you can punch in 7, 6, 8, 5. Ring. Oh my god, guys, it's ringing. Oh. Oh my god. Ah, I'm actually calling him. Oh my god. What? This is so cool guys, you can actually, when you're walking, what? They have, they have coin, coin box everywhere, you know, so when you're walking in this country, you run out of credit, or you don't have a phone, you're sorted. Just go anywhere, put, and it's very affordable, only two in Malangeni, and you can actually make a phone call. Oh my god, I can't believe it. So since we came to Swaziland, this is the busiest town I've been to. So many people. And the hottest also. Like this is the only place where the sun is really shining. Yeah, it is. And Big Ben, there's another town. Big Ben, like it's the hottest. What are the So hot. Like, oh, okay. Like this is this is this is medium hot. Oh. Like Baban it's cool and this is hot. And down there it's hell. Welcome to 
through Manzini Market. So here you get everything. It's divided into sections. You have fruits. Um, we have the meat part, the meat section, and uh, we also have the clothes. But right here, it's the handicraft market right inside. So follow me. Like so many traditional things. This is Eswatini key holders. You have this. This is so creative. This is actually a guitar. And this is a love hat. Dopo dope. Oh, this is African drum and fish. Yes, guys, this is what I'm looking for. So, oh, yeah. See, this is the map of Eswatini. It's actually how it looks like your country, the map. Yeah. Oh wow. So I've got the map and I've got this house. Hmm. This is a little bit more creative, but then mm. this is Eswatini, you know. We've got Africa over here. Which one do I take? The house. <laughs> no, they love, I wish the house was the colors of the Eswatini flag, you know. True. So I got this for 30 Emalangeni, which is an equivalent of 30 South African rand. The same money, guys. So yeah, and they have so many creative things here. Look at this, for example. You can come get yourself this for your kitchen. Wow, like wow, like there is just so much. Yeah, for the kitchen, for those salad spoons, mixing bowls. Oh wow, guys, here you have wooden mixing bowls. This is oh, how much is this? 200 Sorry? 200 200 200 It's a bowl too oh, with the It's lake. a bowl Guys, this is a place to be Yo guys, something else is uh, fruits If you want to buy fruits, you can still come to the fruit market and get yourself some fruits so I've heard a lot about the Swazi avocados. Let's see if we can get some. Can we take the eight or the ten one? Take care. Can we just take the eight or the ten okay. one? I don't know. Okay. Thank you. Guys, so you can also get avocado. This is only eight emalangeni. Less than um, one dollar. Like less than even 50 cents. Very affordable. And then it looks very different. Like the skin of the avocado. Very different. I thought it's not ready, but apparently it's very ready. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, we are here. Uh, this is a certain meat for sailors. We are gonna get lunch. It's tasty. It excites your taste buds. Oh, so follow us. Okay, let's go. <laughs> So what happens here is that you come here and choose a type of meat that you prefer. So they've got sausage, they've got pork, they've got beef, they've got chicken. So we just chose this pork. We're taking it to get roasted. Guys, so I got my change and you can see this is Nelson Mandela on the money. Yes, the South African president. They use the South African brand here as well. So, um, what has happened is I have chosen meat to eat right behind me. So now I'm taking it to get roasted and have my meal. I'm so hungry. I hope this won't take too long. I've never done this in any other country. This is the first time doing this. You go choose your meat, come spice it up and give it to them to roast. Damn! This is so dope. Only in Eswatini. I just couldn't feel the window. Why? Because? Yeah. Why? Because? How long do you think it will take? Oh, 15 to 20 minutes. Oh, okay. A few moments later. 
So I got these two big chunks of pork meat for just over three dollars and this pap over here which is commonly known as ugali in East Africa for about only a dollar. Guys so finally we are having the food. It's really impressive. You get to spice for yourself and um you know everything you do for yourself you choose the meat you want you spice it up for yourself so you just sit down wait for it to get ready and eat and i really like it i think it's it's really good but i feel like i actually put a lot of spices but anyway i'm enjoying it Guys, welcome to the hub. hub. I'm so excited. I want to walk in and see what I can get for the remaining money. So I've been told that the culture of reading here in Swaziland is very strong. So many people read. And if you want to keep up with what's happening in the country, get yourself a newspaper. So, only goes for six emma again. Mm -hmm. Guys, so, um, I've come to the supermarket because I couldn't find this drink outside. They make this here in Swaziland. So, whenever you come to Swaziland, make sure you try this out. Clover product. Say it loudly. Clover product. Yeah, clover products. They're really nice. They are very tasty and very healthy. This is 100% blended juice, as you can see. So let's go. So my friend just told me that we have stores here in the mall that sell things, you know, stylish things that are very affordable, less than $10. So I decided to come here and check them out. So I finally came into this store. I want to get some sandals, but I'm, I'm torn. I don't know what to get. And I'm so shocked because like most of the sandals here are really, really cheap. They go for like two dollars, three dollars. That's like I'm shocked. Um, this is thirty-four emalangeni, <laughs> which is about two dollars and something. This is about three dollars and something. Very affordable and really cute. you can stretch ten dollars here in the sotini i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog as much as i did if you did show me some love give it a thumbs up in the comments and uh don't forget to subscribe i love you guys so much remember everything is possible you just have to believe in yourself 